Well, everyone seems to agree Angelinos need more affordable and supportive housing units built, and fast. But Measure S, a proposal on the March ballot, is sparking heated arguments on what kind of development is best for L.A. On one side, housing advocates and city leaders like Councilmember Jose Huizar. On the other, yes on S supporters. Anna Marcos has more. El amor que Dios me Call it Mexican gospel music. Noemi Flores loves to, as she puts it, write music for God. Among the things she's grateful for, this affordable housing unit in East LA, where she lives with her four grandchildren. How happy are you to be living here? Oh, very happy. Uh, two years, very good for me, for my family. But city leaders and housing advocates say their plans to build more housing for homeless and poor Angelinos could be in jeopardy if Measure S passes. Measure S limits high-density projects that require a change in the city's general plan. In other words, that require land use changes. But 10 of the 11 sites city leaders have picked for homeless projects are on public use land, which would require a change to commercial use. They're saying that Measure S will increase housing, but in fact, if we're not allowed to build more housing and affordable housing, it, that's going to decrease the number of units available and increase rents. According to city leaders, some of those who have come out against Measure S include the LA Times, the Daily News, many city neighborhood councils, and even Governor Jerry Brown. Of the 2,455 affordable units built or proposed over the last five years that needed a general plan amendment or a zone change, 2,353 units, or 95 percent, would have been blocked by Measure S. Measure S supporters say the big reason behind the No on S campaign is big money and big developers. How did we end up with a terrible, terrible homeless crisis and housing on affordability when the city has one of its lowest um, unemployment rates in, in years? How did this happen? The city's building almost exclusively luxury housing that nobody wants. They're driving up rents, they're creating land speculation. The zoning is for sale. This system has produced very little housing for the homeless. City leaders say both housing and jobs are at stake. I'm Anna Marcos for LA This Week.